everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully, you're doing all right. Um, we are still on the container work, um, and we're actually doing something uh, slightly different again in terms of video because rather than starting at the start of the day, I'm starting sort of just after the middle of the day, if that makes sense. As you can see, it looks really dark out. That's because it is actually quite late. It's 20 to 4 in the afternoon. We are on the A419 sort of uh, Siren Sester side and we still got to go down to Southampton yet so it's a good two hour drive down to Southampton got to get loaded with a container and try and make our way up as far as we can because tomorrow morning we are going to Shrewsbury which is sort of think Telford uh, and then if you don't know where that is think Liverpool it's up north um, from Southampton it's a good four hour drive from Southampton and I have to get loaded tonight and make my way up there because if I don't I'm going to run out of driving time tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow is my last day at work and I'm off for Christmas. It is the 21st tomorrow, I think. Is it the 21st tomorrow? And it's the 20th today, so yes, 21st tomorrow. So yes, uh, we have to get the container, well we have to get this container off and get a new one put on and make our way, at least make our way up. If we don't make our way up, it's possible, but I'd like to go at least an hour up and park somewhere on the A34. That's the plan. <laughs> Um, so it does mean we're going to be driving for a little bit during the dark um, because we're not going to be finished tonight I don't think until about 8, 9 o'clock at night which is legal uh, because I didn't start this morning until 6am so uh, I can do a 15 hour shift and work until 9pm not great done, uh, done a lot of uh, hours this week I must admit Yesterday, last night I didn't finish until 9pm uh, and then I started at 6am this morning so it's kind of the reverse if that makes sense so um, yeah, it's uh, two 15 hour shifts in a row. Not good. Our ETA down in Southampton is 20 past five. So we are more than likely gonna hit some sort of rush hour traffic, but hopefully it's gonna be uh, while I'm on the M27. So um, yeah, just coming off the M3 onto the M27 is what I'm hoping. Again, I know some of you guys don't really know the road, so that's just gonna go straight over your head. But bottom line is, we need to try and get to the docks ASAP. We need to get this container off ASAP. Get another container on ASAP. Uh, because at six o'clock at the docks, I believe there's a changeover, a shift changeover. And I will be there for an hour just waiting for a machine to come along and put my container on. But yeah, I can see it being quite late before we leave the docks, possibly six, seven. Um, and then we need to drive for an hour at least up the road. So it's gonna be at the very, very earliest eight o'clock, I expect, before we even finish for tonight. And then, of course, um, we're, doing, we're going to be doing a night out, so I'm going to show you a bit more of the cab, I think, because a few guys have, uh, a few of you guys have asked if you can see more of the truck, because all you see is me and the road in front. You don't see over there or behind the bed or stuff like that. So I'm going to do a, a little quick bit, not much, just a little quick bit. So yeah, that's the plan. So we need to crack on and get down to Southampton because um, time's getting on and I need to get there as soon as possible. So I'll see you guys once we're down there. I know you can't see me because it's too dark now. <laughs> it's 20 to five in the afternoon. Just been told something I'm not very happy about. <laughs> uh, but it's not that I'm not happy about it, I'm slightly worried about what the outcome is gonna be. Um, so I've asked to have a VBS, it's a special number to get in to the place, to the docks, uh, between five and six. They said, yeah, that's fine, it's no problem, but they're having trouble finding somewhere for the empty container that I have on at the moment. Now the thing is, there's this place called Alder Point, and anybody who has ever been to Alder Point will know it is not a good place to go to, as in I will be there for ages. 
So I'm hoping they're not going to send me to Alder Point to get this container off because if that's the case, I could very well run out of working time while I'm in there, let alone going to get loaded tonight, ready for the morning. And I am really worried about tomorrow because it's a four hour drive at least. I don't actually know exactly where I'm going yet. All I know is Shrewsbury. So I've got a 10 hour drive available for tomorrow, but it's a four hour drive up there, four hour drive back, that's eight hours. And then it's a two hour drive back to Swindon again, which is your 10 hours. So you may be thinking, yeah, that's fine. You've got enough time, but you've got to take in an account allowances for like traffic. Uh, when you're on site, you might need to be driving around. And also when I take the container off back down to Southampton, before I come home, I've got to make a detour and actually drop the trailer off at someone else's yard first. So that's why I wanted to get loaded tonight and get an hour up the road to cover for that. And at the moment, it's looking like I might not even be able to get this container off tonight, even a new container on yet. So uh, yeah, it's a bit, uh, bit annoying at the moment. I have absolutely no idea what's happening. I'm just heading towards Southampton at the moment and hoping for the best. Best case scenario is that I get to Southampton b b before six o'clock because there will be rush hour traffic. There's traffic already on the sat nav. So I'd like to get to Southampton by six, get this container off and the other container on by seven and then drive for an hour and a half, maybe two hours up to Oxford. That's best case scenario. Worst case scenario is I park up for the night as I am. That is worst case scenario. Been catching that car up and he's uh, now slowing down. There we go. He was speeding up again and then slowing down. Now is he actually gonna let me overtake him? Or stay on the inside? <laughs> so yeah, we're, um... oh yeah, he's, he's down on me inside now. And now he's undertaken me. I got halfway past him. And now he's undertaken me again. Anyway, never mind. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Okie dokie, we are in Southampton. We are just about to go into the docks. We are not going to Alder Point. That's good. Um, we don't we don't have the best case scenario though. We do have to drop the container off elsewhere. <laughs> Um, there's two other companies you can drop it off at. Pentalover, pen, pen, no, not Pentalover, ta, Pentalver, I always get it mixed up. Uh, and also Solent Stephen Doors. We're dropping it off at Solent Stephen Doors with the container we got on now. The downside is my VBS that they gave me was between five o'clock and six o'clock. My ETA at Solent Stephen Doors is half past five. I don't know how long I'm gonna be there for. There could be a massive queue. We're gonna find out sooner or later. So there was a good chance I was going to miss my VBS time slot of six o'clock. Um, but everyone's left the office now, so no one could change it but me. So <laughs> I've, I've phoned the VBS helpline for DP World in Southampton. Uh, I was fifth in the queue and after 25 minutes of waiting, I managed to get through. They've extended it till seven o'clock and apparently um, I can get in any time between five and seven. So that's good. It's 20 past, no, quarter past five now. So. Um, yeah, basically I should have enough time to get this container off and then get in and get the other container. How long I'm gonna be waiting for, I don't know. That was definitely orange when I passed. Um, I'm just hoping we get out sooner rather than later because I really would like to get an hour up the road, which means I kind of do need to leave by half seven. But it's quarter past five now, so it gives us two hours. That should be possible, right? <sighs> I don't know, man. I've been at the docks before many times and uh, I've been here for hours. Actually, this morning, this morning I was here for a couple of hours because apparently at midnight, the, they, sh they shut the docks basically and no one told me. So when I got here for eight o'clock this morning, I couldn't leave the yard until six last night, uh, this morning, because I finished at nine last night. So I left my yard at six, got here for just before eight o'clock. Uh, my time slot was seven to eight. And the, the VBS, um, what do you call it? The pre-gate was all blocked off. I pulled up, I opened on the window, I said, mate, how do I get in then? He goes, oh, you can't, we're shut. You need to phone your boss. So I phoned my boss, not my boss, I phoned the guys I'm doing the work for, which by the way, they asked for a shout out. So I, if anyone's wondering who I'm working on behalf of, it's for a company called 3TC. They do watch these videos. <laughs> um, so 3TC is who we're working for. It's really quiet at the moment, that's good. What was I saying? Oh yeah, um, the docks were shut, so I had to wait. It was manic this morning. There were trucks all over the place, both sides of the road, and there's like just enough room in between them for one truck. 
luckily nothing was coming the other way. I was, it would have been a bit messy. And then when they did eventually opened, um, I had to come back this way, come round this roundabout, literally queuing up here to get into the roundabout. And of course, everyone else is queuing and it was just chock a block, it was gridlock. Absolutely gridlocked this morning. So I was here for two hours. Um, and by the time I left, I spoke, I was in the, uh, the, the part where you put your seal number in, make sure everything's all fine. And there was a, there was a Polish bloke in there and he, and he was on about how long he'd been here. I said, oh, I've been here two hours. He goes, oh, I've been here four. It's like, yeah, you win. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's mad. Been here for four hours. That bloke was. Never mind. Never mind. Hopefully we can get in and out relatively quickly. It's, it's looking, oh, I was gonna say it's looking quiet. The transfer area too looks quite busy. Like I said, the problem is I'm pretty sure six o'clock they do a shift changeover. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but I got a feeling they do a shift changeover. Which means come six o'clock, dead. There's going to be no one being served, which means I could very likely be here until 7 o'clock. I'm fully expecting to be here till 7. That's an hour and 40 minutes in the dock. I'm expecting that. Never mind. One thing's for sure, uh, I'm not staying in the docks tonight if I can help it. I need to get out of the docks and make my way up north. Ideally past Newbury. If not, then I'll have to stop it before Newbury, like Top Hill Services again. Although that'd be that'd be chock a block there, definitely. Good thing about Top Hill Services is that it's free; you haven't got to pay. Whereas all the other services you do, unless you're parking in Levi. Not too keen on parking in a Levi, to be honest with you. The container we're picking up is a 20-foot container, so um, normally, because it's obviously smaller, um, there's less stuff in it, so it's normally quicker um, quicker to get offloaded when you get to your destination so I'm hoping tomorrow and you are going to be with me tomorrow I'm hoping tomorrow we'll uh, we won't actually be in Sh Shrewsbury Shrews Shrewsbury <laughs> very long very long uh, also yeah what I was going to say is someone recommended to me that I change my FPS on this GoPro to 30 FPS rather than 60 because I do record at 60 normally which is why it's quite fluent um, if I record a 30 FPS obviously I already knew this and he, he just sort of um, reminded me if you like but when you when you record in higher FPS basically the length the um, mirror if you like in an SLR flaps faster so I guess it's the same thing with a GoPro less light is getting in because it's recording faster and if less light is getting in images appear darker so when I'm driving in the dark you can't see me because the FPS FPS is so high but if I, if I lower the FPS to 30 FPS, twice as much light is getting in. So in theory, I should be more visible. I don't know how true that is, because uh, we'll have to wait until I've actually edited this video to find out. But in theory, you should be able to see me a little bit better than normal, because I put this GoPro, the one facing me, on 30 FPS. The one facing out is still on 60, but never mind. Right, we need to go right down here. Solent Stephen doors. Let's get this container off. At least there's no queue, that's good. I hope they ain't shut. Nah, they're open. Look, look at it. Look at it. I've had to get all the CMH pre-book it with us. Hello mate. Hiya bud, it's Luke. Alright mate? No, I'm at Sailing Stephen doors and they're saying the container's not booked in. Hell. Alright yeah. mate, stay there mate, I've got the email to prove it mate, so oh. um, they probably haven't to them. All right. Two seconds, mate. We're sort out. Cheers, buddy. All right. Mate. <laughs> uh, I love my job. I love my job. I love my job. Just tell yourself you love your job. Um, yes, apparently it's not booked in. Just made a phone call. It apparently is booked in, but I'm gonna have to wait now. 
Good job I extended my VBS, that is for sure. Just gotta make sure that I definitely got all the information down. Okay, we've just come back in. Uh, we were given the all clear to come back in. Uh, <laughs> and he goes, no mate, still not, still not working. I was like, you're joking. Still not working. And he goes, oh, hang on. Yeah, he's just come through. So um, basically what it was is I've turned up before they received the confirmation email by the company who owns the container that they're dropping, I'm dropping off here. But they also just said they're doing a shift changeover. So he said, I might be waiting a little bit before they come and take the container off. So not a lot I can do. Um, I, I've extended my VBS till seven o'clock anyway. So if it gets to like half six and it's still not off, then I can try and extend my VBS again. There's a train there and I'm hoping it's not gonna cross this crossing when I need to come back in a sec. So what we've got to do is we've got to go, we've got to go into Solent Stephen Dawes yard now. which is somewhere down here on the right. I think if you blink, you miss it. So I've got to be careful. Where is it? Is it this one here? Yeah, it's this one here. In we go, we've got the yard all to ourselves, that's good. Pretty sure they do it from over here on my side. So I'm gonna drive around. Gotta put it on brake, because if I can get an half an hour brake in, it resets my drive time. Well, but I don't think I need it anyway. Uh, yeah, I, I honestly don't know where I've got to go, so let me just straighten up. No idea. We just wait here, put the hazards on, <sighs> and go and do my twist locks. Got to take the twist locks off already, just in case he does come. Because there we go. I'll take you with me, and it's ready to go then, isn't it? <sighs> I'm not sure where it is he's going to come from. Never mind, anyway. Let's do, uh, let's do the twist locks. Last time I came in here, he, uh, he took it off from this sort of angle. But who knows? Who knows? He might want me to uh, do it there somewhere. Never mind. Let's jump back in the cab. Oh, Lord. 
wipe out all your tears When words die When we're falling apart Hold your hand when my heart is Get me high When we fight all the time Just show me we're home When words die I'm a lot calmer now. We are in place uh, in the docks, and we uh, we're just basically now got to wait until the container gets put on. Uh, I'm quite happy. I've I've looked at the place where we're going to tomorrow because obviously I knew I was going to Shrewsbury, but I didn't actually know where in Shrewsbury I was going. But I've had a look, and the place we're going to looks proper easy to get to, so that's good. Um, just to put earlier. Just put the fuel allowance in. Yeah, so A, it looks proper easy to get to, and B, uh, I was I was assuming it was going to take four hours to get there, which is why I was worrying about um, driving time tomorrow. According to the sat nav, from where I am right now in the docks, it's going to take uh, only three and a half hours, which means it's uh, half an hour there and half an hour back quicker, which means I'm gaining an hour straight away of extra drive time, so that's good. Uh, also, I still plan on driving at least an hour up tonight because I can work until nine o'clock. It's quarter to seven, so I'm hoping the container will be put on within the next hour, in which case I'll then still have an hour left of working time to drive an hour up and just park in the next available lay-by after an hour's driving. That's the plan. Uh, at least then tomorrow morning, it's only two and a half hours up. I've got, like I said, I've got to have an 11 hour rest, so the later I finish today, the later I start tomorrow. If I don't finish till nine o'clock tonight, legally can't start working to wait in the morning tomorrow downside to that is i'm going to be released in rush hour traffic so i'm going to lose time again um getting up but never mind it's not an awful lot i can do about that the delivery is scheduled for 10 o'clock so um it's touch and go as to whether or not i'm going to make that delivery time slot but never mind we're um yeah we're, we're delivering to some sort of business park i've had a look on the maps there's no bay to reverse on it's a case of driving around and parking outside their unit uh, and then they can sort it out from there. So it's a 20 foot going on, so hopefully it won't take too long for them to offload it. Um, a couple of hours. So then it'll be 12 o'clock, hopefully. And then by the time I get back down, it'll be half past three, maybe four o'clock, drop the trailer off, back home, probably for about six o'clock tomorrow. So yeah, it's not the earliest of finishes before Christmas, but you know, what are you gonna do about it? We'll, uh, you'll be with me, of course, the whole way there. We're just waiting for our container to be put on. We're, we're in position, we're ready to go. Give me my container. <laughs> Quarter to seven. Let's see how long it takes. Right, container is on. We are loaded. And we are about to get out of here. Seatbelt can now go on, seeing as we uh, will be going on public road very shortly. We'll use this side just in case he's an old man and doesn't know where the buttons are. Believe me, you can be waiting for ages behind people. He should be going before me. He's going the same time as me, even though I pulled up a good tw like 10 seconds later, probably. Deary, deary, deary. Right, so, as I said, it's only three and a half hours up there, and in theory, I could probably get halfway up there tonight, but I do need to stop. Um, I'm not paying for services, so I would like to get above Newbury, 
for sure. Definitely above Newbury. Um, we should leave Newbury with like an hour and a half from there. Yeah, about an hour and a half. Um, but if I, if I go past a um, parking lay-by and there's no parking spaces, then I'm going to have to pop into like Sharewell surfaces or something on the M40 because it's Sharewell and then pay 30 odd quid to park up for the night. So I'd rather not pay to park in services because you know 30 quid for the night is ridiculous. And remember I've got to have, got to have 11 hours off as well. So yeah, seven o'clock, uh, I can work for two more hours. So I would like to get an hour and a half up the road, park up hopefully by half past eight and then I can start at half past seven in the morning then and crack on from there and hopefully we'll be able to make the 10 o'clock delivery. It's looking, it's looking likely at the moment that we will make it, but um, depends on morning traffic tomorrow. So yeah, I'm going to knuckle down, get as far as I can. I'll see you when, uh, when we're parked up and I'll give you uh, a bit more information. Right, so we need to start thinking about parking in a lay-by now. We've been driving for close to an hour and a half. There is a lay-by coming up, but I don't know whether there's going to be any room. I can see there's some trucks in there, so it doesn't look like there will be. Yeah, there is room. I could have parked in there, but I'm going too fast, so. But try the next one. I might, I might regret that. I might regret that. <laughs> Let's crack on to the next one. Okay, we've got parking in another half a mile. I'm pretty sure actually the one coming up is the one I stayed at last time. I had to go quite far north. Just start indicating just to let the lorry behind me know that I'm thinking of parking. Is it clear? Uh, maybe I can get in the front. Yeah, I can get in the front. Okay, this is home. Home is where you park it. And this is home for tonight. That'd do. That'd do nicely. Um, okay, let's take my card out. It's ten past eight right now. Light's a bit bright when you've had it off all day or all night. Ten past eight. So that means I can now start tomorrow at ten past seven in the morning. There we go, card is out, 10 past 8, engine off. We're done. Started at 6 o'clock this morning, so that's 12, 13, 14 hours, 10 minutes. Um, yeah, like I said, we can start at 10 past 7 tomorrow morning. Uh, we are 2 hours and 15 minutes away, which means if we start at 10 past 7, by the time we do our checks, Say it's like 20 past seven, if. Um, that'd be 20 past eight, 20 past nine, plus the 15 minutes, it'd be 25 to 10. And our ETA, well, our, our delivery time is 10 o'clock. So basically what I'm trying to babble on about is that we should, in theory, be on time. But we won't, we won't know that now until, until tomorrow, until we actually start moving. Uh, depends on what traffic's going to be like as well because obviously we've got to go past Birmingham and uh, anybody who knows Birmingham even the slightest will know that that place is a nightmare so I can definitely see me actually not getting there until 10 at least maybe even later but we're soon going to see so I'm going to bed well I'm going to relax for a little bit first might watch some TV 
got 11 hours off, don't need 11 hours sleep, so I'll see you uh, in the morning and probably when it's light out as well. I won't, I won't vlog straight away, I'll wait until it's light out and then you can see me, but you'll probably see a time lapse now. See you in the morning. Good morning everybody, uh, welcome back. We are in the truck, obviously, we're driving. We are just around the corner from where we need to deliver to. Just five minutes away, so it's not too far away. We've got to go to a place called Powell Gee. Powell Gee and Co Limited. I think it's Unit 34. But uh, I looked on the, on the Google Maps. It looks relatively easy to get to, so it's all good, it's all good. We, um, we left the lay-by this morning around about seven o'clock. It was 10 past seven, I put the card in. And then uh, we left about 20 past seven. So we had a 10 minute check. Uh, there's no stipulation to say how long that check is supposed to be. Oh, there's a squirrel in the road there. Nearly died. <laughs> so yeah, I had a 10 minute, I had a 10 minute um, uh, taco um, thingy with Jiggy. I was, I, was up before, I was up at half past six and I already checked the truck out. Um, and then put the card in at seven and didn't, didn't leave until 20 past seven. I suppose you could technically say I was working, but never mind. Never mind. Uh, we we obviously left then around about 20 past seven. It's currently half past nine in the morning. There was a, a, a big accident on the M6 near Warsaw. There was a, in excess of like an hour's delay. So for a while I was worrying about whether or not I was going to be able to make the delivery. By the way, ETA is half past nine. And we're going to be literally there in like a couple of minutes. So um, at the end of the day, there was nothing to worry about. But yeah, a couple of times it says we weren't going to be here until about half past ten. So like another hour away. I had three or four different diversions lined up, but it kept changing as to which one was fastest. And then right at the point where I had to make my mind up, it then said the M6 uh, past Birmingham and Warsaw was the fastest way. So that's the way I went in the end. Didn't really get held up at all. So that's good. It's really good. So yeah, we, um, we're going to be here a little bit early. I'm assuming they will be open, but uh, if not, then I'll just have to sit there and wait, won't I? I'm also hoping I'm going to be able to get around the bend because uh, I've basically, basically got to park in a car park by the looks of it, so I might be too long to get around the corner. Or if cars are sticking out too far, I might not be able to get around, so we'll have to see. I can shorten the trailer, but it's a very heavy load, so if I shorten the trailer, A, that's a lot of weight on the wheels to be rotating around, and B, it's gonna lift the cab up, or, or like uh, the back wheels up, because all the, all the weights on the trailer, which then lifts the front of the trailer up. Um, so I won't be able to have, I won't have much drive, basically, especially going around bends. So, um, that's something we're going to have to have a look at when we get there. Like I said, we're like two minutes away, so we will we will cross that bridge very, very shortly. I had a few comments from people saying, um, or asking if I was going to have a video out before Christmas. And um, obviously, yes, because you're watching this video now. But I must say, this is the last video I'm going to be uploading for probably a while. Um, because now I'm off work. Well, I do come back to work in the new year for three days, but I probably won't vlog it. We'll see. I might do. But um, also, I'm going to Disneyland on the, um, I think it's the 7th of January, so Monday. We, we actually leave on the Sunday, stay in a hotel overnight. And then uh, I'm driving, driving to Disneyland in Paris on the Monday. So I'm, I'm off work all that week. Uh, and the Monday I come, the Monday after is the Monday I come back from Disneyland. So um, if you're lucky, there'll be a video that following weekend, which must be like the 15th or 16th of January. So it will be a while before, if you go, then I can get around the corner. Thank you. 
So yeah, uh, after this video is released, um, pretty much will be a good three week gap, I think, between videos, between vlogging and in my truck anyway, at least. I might do a live stream or something while I'm at Disneyland, but it depends. It depends how bored I get. <laughs> if I get proper bored, and I might do a live stream just to say I've done one abroad. We'll have to see. Right, we're here. Where do we go? So that's a dead end, so it's not at that one. Action Business Park is down here. Is it where that lorry is turning in? I think it might be. It is. Action Business Park. This is where we are delivering to. got it on me uh, my phone as a sat now so it should hopefully take me straight to their door what's this car doing then is he gonna move oh, he's wondering what the lorry's doing the lorry's not parked in the best place to get an arctic round is he So supposedly, down here, turn right, unit 34. That's unit 35 there, right in front of us. 34 is the one next to it. This one is 34, so we are gonna park here. gonna get straight and then reverse back a bit right I'm gonna go and speak to the guys that I saw in unit 35 just to double check that they are not the same people but uh, at least we're here that's the main thing back in a sec right so we are in place right now we uh, we were parked around the corner on the left um as we come we were coming from the front drove down and turned right but we actually needed to reverse back here um where we reversed up to a like a ramp um so there's a forklift in me at the moment which sounds <laughs> sounds wrong there's a forklift up there now he's he's getting the uh, pallets which you can see right in front of us he's dragging them out of the box down the ramp driving them over here he's come along now my uh my trailer so you're going to see him in a second on the dash cam here he comes passenger window and you should see him now so that's him there he's taking off the container putting it over there in front where there's a lady in a high vis there next to the blue trolley she's um counting it or cereal or something like that i don't know checking the numbers on the boxes and then uh, matey boy is on another forklift who's taking it into wherever it's got to go inside so that is um what's going on there how many boxes we got left i'm not actually entirely sure i'm just gonna have a quick look actually you can still hear me of course but yeah I'm just gonna have a quick look see how many there are still it's only a 20 foot container so it doesn't take too long about halfway Yeah, I'd say it was about halfway already, so that's good. Um, we've been here for half an hour now, so uh, probably another half an hour to go. Hopefully out of here by 11, 11 a.m., which would be really nice. Right, we're done. And it is 11 o'clock. 
So we've left exactly when I wanted to leave, which is fantastic. Spot on that is. Um, we could have had a 45 minute break while we're here, but I've decided not to have a 45 minute break um, because if I do have a 45 minute break, I definitely will need to have another 45 later when um, I'm on my way back up to Swindon. Whereas if I don't have a 45 minute break now, I can drive for another two hours and 10 minutes, uh, have a 30 minute break, and then I'm only an hour and a half away from the docks and I'll have four and a half hours left of driving time. So there's a chance that if I have half an hour break and an eater, in two hours time, there's a chance, a small chance that I'll, uh, well, actually a good chance. A good chance I'll be able to get back to Swindon uh, without having a second 45 minute break. Now obviously there's a very small chance that I will need to have a second 45 minute break, in which case it doesn't really matter because I would have had to have one anyway if I had a 45 now. So I can only benefit from it, if that makes sense. If that doesn't make sense, then yeah, that's just the sort of stuff we've got to worry about as drivers. When to have breaks, when is the best time to have a break? Sacrificing having a break now, so then you know you ain't got to have one later on in like five hours time. But it's good, we're on our way. We're three and a half hours away from the docks. We could drive for two hours and 10 minutes. Um, so by the time we do have a break, we'll be about an hour and a half away from the docks. So it's an hour and a half there, and then I still have three hours left, then it only takes two hours to get back. Plus I've got to drop the trail off, so it gives me an hour to drop the trail off as well. So fingers crossed, it'll, uh, it'll all be okay for later. In terms of delivery, like I said, it took about an hour to, to deliver that. Um, well, no, it was an hour and a half, I suppose. They didn't actually start until 10 o'clock. Um, I did get a signature, didn't I? Yeah, just double checking, I got a signature. Um, yeah, they um, they didn't, I got there for half past nine in the end, but they didn't actually start until 10, which is fair enough, because that's what this book did for. Um, and uh, they finished at 11. And the lady, are you actually turning left? You don't appear to be slowing down. The lady was quite apologetic. She goes, oh, I do, I do apologize for, for it taking so long. Um, she obviously, she was the boss and the forklift there was obviously doing the job that she told him to do. Well, I said, no, so there's only an hour. I said, don't get me wrong. Like an hour is perfect. Like I've had, I said, I've had jobs this week where I've been there for four hours plus. And she said, really? And I was like, yeah. It's like, honestly, I said, don't worry about it. So yeah, all good in the hood. So by the time we have a break, we should be at the docks for a little bit after three o'clock. And hopefully we can get the container off and the trailer dropped off by four o'clock. And then uh, it's a two hour drive back. So hopefully we can be back by six tonight. And that's just reminding me, there will be rush hour traffic. So mm, I may need to have another break after all. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. <laughs> right, uh, gonna crack on, get the foot down. Uh, we need to get as far as we can, as quickly as we can, so that we've got a chance of uh, not needing the break later. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, hello everybody. We are currently on four hours and 20 minutes driving. Um, so we've only got 10 more minutes of drive time left. Need to start thinking of somewhere to park up. There's plenty of late, we've just gone off the M40, we're on the A34 now heading south. Plenty of lay-by, so I'm probably gonna stop in the next lay-by if there's room. There's one coming up. Can I fit in there? Looks like I can. Yeah, so I'm gonna park in this lay-by now. I wasn't really worried about drive time because, um, well, I knew I had enough drive time to go across maybe four or five different laybys. There's so many laybys on this road, it's unbelievable. Right, so we're now going to stop here. Don't want to stop too close because I need to get back out. Um, yes, it's telling me to have a break. I'm now having a break. So, half an hour break is what we need. Driving time will reset, so we'll have four and a half hours from here left. Um, it's an hour and 35 to the docks. Um, so it should then in theory leave us two hours, 55 minutes. It's then a little bit of driving around in the, in the docks, obviously. So let's just say 2.45. Uh, it's then 20 minute drive to where we've got to drop the trailer off. So that'd leave us with about 2.20 left. And then, it's my girlfriend. And then um, from there, it's a two hour drive back to Swindon. So we should have about 20 minutes left. So um, yeah, it's very touch and go, very touch and go. If we get held on traffic, we are gonna have to have another 45 later, but 
if I stopped back where we were, I definitely would have had to have another 45 later. So it's not, I'm not losing anything. I'm only gaining if it, if it all works out quite well. So fingers crossed it does. Let's have half an hour break. I'll see you when, uh, probably when we're down Southampton and we've got the container off. Okay, so since you last saw me, we had our break, half an hour break. We then uh, drove for about an hour and a half back to the docks. Um, and actually, quite luckily, we didn't have what's called a VBS number. We uh, just had to drop it off at one of the uh, one of the stalls, so to speak. So we dropped it off at Solent Stephen Doors, which is where we were last night, actually picking or getting everyone taken off yesterday. Uh, however, this time we got in straight straight away. They were ready for for me. It was nice and easy, um, and I was in and out in like ten minutes, if that. So that's good. We now just got to go drop the trailer off. <sighs> I'm tired. I, I'm ready now for the weekend. This day can finish as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> we just got to drop the trailer off. We're literally just around the corner, just a couple of miles away. Um, we're currently on nearly two hours of driving. By the time we get to where we need to be, by the time we leave, I expect we'll be on about two hours and five minutes, two hours and 10 minutes, something like that. So we still have two hours and 10 minutes left to get back. So that's good. Hopefully we can make it back. Still not guaranteed yet, but hopefully we can. Fingers crossed we should be able to. Fingers crossed. <sighs> Can't stop yawning though. I do apologise if anyone else is yawning with me. Um, yeah, the place we're dropping the trailer off is the company we've been doing the work for, so it's for 3TC. Um, I gave them a shout out earlier on in the vlog, um, so I'm going to give them another one now, 3TC. Operating out of wherever we are now. Winnish? Is it Winnish? Don't know. I, I do kind of know the area because there's a company here I used to deliver for when I was doing the bolt bags called Lime Stuff. It's just, just down the road. But uh, we're just turning right here. Just coming up. Luckily, it's quiet, so I should be able to get out. Last last time I left, um, early hours in the morning, I say early hours, it's like half seven, eight o'clock, this road was quite busy, so it was, it was a pain to get out. <laughs> but hopefully we can get out all right tonight once we get the trailer off. So we just want to turn right here. I will block up the road still because my trailer will swing out a little bit when I turn. Not sure if that's the car behind me beeping or the one that went past me. Might have been the one, the car behind me. I think he was beeping his horn because I was taking up both lanes. Problem is, if I was all the way over in the right lane, I still would have been blocking up the left lane a little bit. And when I turned, the trailer would have angled. And I've seen accidents happen, so. I'm sorry, but I'd rather hold him up for five seconds and smash his car up on a Friday before Christmas. <laughs> anyway, the last time we come up here, well, last time I come up here, it was dark. So this is new to me, seeing it at light. Also, you could see car headlights coming the other way when it was dark. Obviously not so much when it's light out. Although, it probably might not look that light because we're surrounded by trees. Uh, uh, uh. Right, so we're going to drop this trailer off. Uh, hopefully we're not here for too long because I want to get on because it's going to be late by the time we get back. It's going to be dark, that's for sure. Let's get this trailer off. Uh, and I'll see you guys when we're leaving. Right, we're done. Trailer's off. We are trailerless. We are solo. And <laughs> that trailer was off in like four minutes. I am out of here. Let's get going. Oh wow. When you got when you got a trailer on. Uh, if you like put your foot down like you normally used to, it will literally put you back in your seat. Because obviously you've not got the weight of the trailer to pull. So yeah, definitely uh, going to be a little, <laughs> a little bit faster on the way home. De definitely down these uh, these country roads. Until you get cars coming, you've got to slow down so you don't hit them. There we go. Right, anyway, so... I want to thank everybody who has uh, watched this video. I really do appreciate it. 
Um, we've, we've gained quite a few subscribers in within the last year. I don't know off the top of my head how many subscribers we've gained, but I have definitely gained enough. <laughs> I'm, I'm really happy with the amount of subscribers I've gained this year. I've met loads of people this year. I've been to truck fests like Malvin uh, and Shepton Mallet. Been invited to some places like that. I've, I've, I've tested out products for companies. I've represented companies in terms of sponsorship. Um, I just want to thank everybody who has ever had anything to do with my channel, and thank you very much for the growth that it's uh, that it's got. It does it does mean an awful lot to me. Uh, also, quick shout out to a couple of guys who I met the other night while I was doing a night out, Matt and Kevin. So uh, you guys come and said hello to me. So shout out to you guys as well. And uh, a shout out to everybody else who watches my video. I appreciate it, I really do appreciate it. I hope you all have a fantastic Christmas. Um, as I mentioned earlier, there won't be a video for me for a while because A, I'm off work for quite a long time uh, and, and B, I'm going to Disneyland. <laughs> I'm going to Disneyland, baby. So yeah, I'm, I'm basically off work for three weeks. I come back for three days in between, but I don't know whether I'm gonna vlog or not yet. <laughs> forgot about the power then <laughs> proper accelerating so yeah thank you very much to everybody who watches my videos it, I do honestly appreciate it so much and uh, have a good Christmas and a happy new year everyone and I will see you in the new year thanks for watching see you later bye bye So it's currently Saturday, we're still at Truck Fest. It is a bloody, bloody warm weekend. It is really hot. 27 degrees. I'm actually inside the truck right now. Put the aircon on just to try and get a bit of coolness. It is so, so, so hot. Um, I've actually met loads of people already. I've given away a lot of stickers and a lot of you have come up and got your photographs taken with me as well. So um, that's absolutely fantastic, and it's really good to see you all. But um, yeah, really hot, really, really hot. I'm gonna go around and take some photographs of some trucks now, some videos. Right, this is uh, take two on a bit of recording um, inside the cab because this is the first time pretty much I've actually recorded on my camera. Um, on my, I got a Galaxy Note. Is it Galaxy Note? Galaxy S Edge Nine. Something I can't remember. It's been such a long day, and I'm really tired. It's quarter to eleven at night at the moment, and um, we've been up since half seven. It's been non-stop all day. I've seen so many people today. Um, I've, I've literally lost count. I'm probably up to a hundred people I've seen today, um, and we've gone sat in my truck and taken photographs and I've given stickers too so it's really great to actually see everybody and see so many people and it's only Saturday we've got to do it all again tomorrow and I'm absolutely knackered but it's good it's really nice to see everybody and I'm really actually looking forward to, to seeing everybody, everybody tomorrow as well I can't get my words out I'm so tired um I want to apologize for that little bit of footage you just seen with me and Scott Andrews it was so cheesy he um he said should we do some vlogging should we do some vlogging together I was like yeah go on then I don't mind let's, let's do a little bit of vlogging um I don't know it was like spur of the moment it was like our vlog at the same time so we hit the same footage and I was like what do we say and he goes oh let's just make it up on the spot <laughs> that's pretty much what we did literally make it up off, up on the spot and it was just quite awkward and quite cheesy off camera we talk fine like completely natural like we're best mates but um on camera it's just it was quite awkward but never mind Honestly though, if you have if you haven't actually subscribed to Scott, go subscribe to him, his channel. The link is in the description below. Oh, bit blurry. Uh, this is the second attempt of recording this bit on this phone because I had image stabilization on, and because of these beacons that are flashing, the picture basically was like all jittery. It was like blah, 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 blah. so um, I've turned off image stabilization. I thought I could just quickly record this segment again. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go to bed in a second, or at least try to go to bed because. Like I said, it's quarter to 11. A lot of people are actually still awake. Um, it's not, not even quarter to 11 now, it's five to 11. It was quarter to 11 when I started filming. So it's basically nearly 11 o'clock by the time I finish this. People are still awake. Um, and they're, they're right to it, it's Saturday night, do you know what I mean? People are gonna stay awake quite late. Having parties, having discos, 
disco lights from the tracks, music's playing, horns are being honked. It's all right if you're in the cab, because the cab takes most of that noise out, but I'm actually sleeping in the tent with my girlfriend and kids, so... There's not a lot we can do about that. <laughs> I am kind of tempted to sleep in here. Um, Jabba, who's brought down my boss's truck, which is obviously parked next to me, is sleeping in that truck, but his brother is sleeping in my truck, as I think I've already mentioned. So, if I do sleep in here, then I'm going to have to kick him out. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I don't know what else to say, really. We um, spent most of the day meeting people. I did go to the arena and had a look at some of the monster truck action that was going on over there. I'm actually hoping to try and get a bit more footage of that tomorrow to include on this video. Um, see some monster trucks, see some stuff that they do, you know, monster truck rides and the bikes that are jumping up and down and things like that. Um, one of the first times I actually went around and had a look at the trucks was basically tonight. Um, I didn't do any filming during most of the day today really until about six, seven o'clock at night. So we went around and I tried to get as much as I could and you would have seen that footage as on this video right now. And I can't get my words out, I'm so tired I can't get my words out so I do apologise. I'm going to have to go get some sleep. Um, what else? I've done. I've done 18,000 steps, have I said that yet? I've done 18,000 steps today, and I've drunk a hell of a lot of fluids. I'm probably 10 litres plus of fluids today. Plenty of ice creams as well. I've got to have some ice creams to try and keep cool. But yeah, no, it's been one of those days. It was one of those days where at 9 o'clock this evening, it was still 26 degrees out. It was, it's was. it been mad hot all day, and actually all weekend. And actually, I don't know if you can see right now, but I'm a little bit sunburnt on my nose. No, I'm not really sunburnt. It doesn't hurt. It's just a little bit red. <laughs> um, Java just see me recording on the camera. You want to go to bed? That's my girlfriend saying she wants to go to bed. Hang on. Pardon? I'm going to bed. You're going to bed. You're going to bed. glasses on the kids' seat still. You're now on the vlog. Hi. I don't know actually. Can you see you? No. Right. It's very dark. Oh, well, I'm coming. Don't worry. I'm saying bye and I'm going. Okay. Let me say bye then to my followers. It's okay. Take your time. I can read my book. Take your time, I'm going to take my time. Bye. Bye. Oh, bloody door. Um, what was I saying? I don't even know what I was saying. Yeah, like I said, we're, <laughs> we're all tired. Girlfriend's going to bed, so I need to come go to bed as well before I get in the bad books. Um, yeah, I'm going to go. I'll do some more recording tomorrow, and uh, yeah, I'll see you then. Bye. Well, that's a pretty cool shot. Backwards of our trucks. Hey, look.